thought I'd start by asking how you first became attached to Sonic the Hedgehog. Sure, it's actually a pretty cool story because uh, the movie wasn't sold to a studio yet. And yeah. I met with Tim Miller. If, uh, if, if you're a cinephile, you'll know he directed Deadpool. Yeah. He's a wonderful man. And I had a meeting with him about a different project. And then Jeff Fowler was sitting next to him at a desk. He goes, you know, Jeff is going to do this trailer, or he's going to do a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. He's going to do a test for it. He okay. goes, and then I met Jeff. And they go, would you ever be interested in doing the voice just for the test? Okay. And I said, it would be a dream, of course. So I did, a, I did it as a favor at the beginning. And then I lucked out that they loved the test so much when Paramount bought it. They just, at the end, they're like, we should just have Ben do it. Everybody loves the way he did in the test, have Ben do it. So I got to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, and what was your kind of first feelings when you heard about Sonic the oh, Hedgehog? Oh, I went, like when I found out I got to be Sonic, I was walking down the street and Jeff said, hey, for the movie they want you now, for the movie. And I was like, what? And I was like, I was like pumping my <laughs> fist like a crazy person. Um, it, it was very exciting to me because uh, I played the video game growing up. It's a big deal in my life. I'm a, I'm a gamer, and yeah. so it's it was very exciting. Also, get to be in a movie with Jim Carrey. I yeah, mean, of course, it's yeah. a dream come true. Um, and do you, you you said you're a fan of the games. Is there a kind of a particular game you you, you remember playing? In or? all of them are Sonic games. Uh, Sonic games. Sonic yeah. games. The second one. The first one was amazing yeah. for me because side scrollers never went that fast. Yeah. So that was incredible to me. But the second one was like. Because everybody was wondering how they'd up their game from the first one. And I, I'm like, uh, I'm 10 when the first one comes out, and now I'm even older for the second one. And like when they bring in all of these beautiful levels, like this casino, and then even uh, bringing in Tails, another character that your friend could play. Although if you go too fast, you can't yeah. really play Tails. But, but like, I, it was, it was, uh, I loved it. And, and it was something that made me happy. And also to have someone on another controller with you fighting those bosses at the end was always so fun. Of course, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so you've done a lot of voice work in the mm -hmm. past, of course. Um, what kind of unique challenges does playing a voice role of a character who's already so iconic kind of pose yeah. for you? Yeah, I've been very fortunate where I played Dewey in DuckTales, which is a show I grew up watching. Yeah. played Leonardo in Turtles, which is that. And this one, it was another one where it's like so many great voice actors have played this role. I wanted to make sure that I just made the fans happy. I was like, because I know they're very passionate and they really care about this character. So I wanted to make sure that when the fans hear my voice, they felt like excited and proud that finally Sonic gets a movie and that they love the way he looks and they sounds. And the final outcome of this, I think the fans have been really vocal, which is great and really happy. Yeah, and do you think that does kind of have an, the extra pressure when it's a character that's so well known? I think there's some lines that you feel the pressure in some lines, like gotta go fast is a line that Sonic has said in of different course, things. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I gotta nail that. And also for me, because I love Marvel movies and DC movies and stuff like that, there are scenes where it's like a big action sequence between the big bad, which is you know, Robotnik or Eggman in ours, and Sonic. And I didn't want it to feel phony. I wanted it to feel like, you know, you're looking at this hedgehog, but he's like, all right, now it's, you know what I mean? So I really wanted to do all that stuff. So the, the pressure I felt was mostly on those scenes. Those set pieces. When it came to comedy, I've been doing comedy so, for so long course, that yeah. I, I, they, I had such a leash that I could do so many different versions and so many different tries that we could just pick the funniest that went in. So that stuff was really fun. It, it was more like exciting and fun once you, I did it for a little bit and people were digging it. I was like, all right, now I just have to worry about performance and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, okay, in regards to the film as well, itself, obviously there was um, quite a big social media reaction when the first trailer yeah. came out. It was yeah. Design. What was your reaction to all of that? When that it was, was crazy because for us, we, we'd done this movie, they'd already finished it, I was in the voiceover booth, already done probably 10 or 12 records, and we had no idea if anybody would care yeah. about the trailer. We know that we loved it, we cared so de deeply about the property, is anybody else going to care about this movie or about this thing? And it was, the reaction was so passionate and so much bigger than we could have assumed that it really like put even new breath into this movie being like oh this is this is an entity that people care about that love like let's see let's see what we can do to make it the best it can possibly be but it was the biggest thing for us was that people cared and were excited yeah of course um and what do you think Obviously, we, we talked a lot about how there's so many fans behind Sonic. Yeah. What specifically do you hope that they get out of this film? I think for the fans themselves, uh, they're Easter eggs throughout the whole thing. So like, there's little nods to video games throughout the whole thing. There's a Super Smash Brothers reference. There's uh, like the animation when Sonic is about to fall down. Like all all these things that are in there that will reward uh, a Sonic fan, and also catchphrases and chili dogs and everything that if you're a fan you like hope for. But um, even better is like, if you've never heard of Sonic before, it's kind of one of those movies that has everything that you can go in and fall in love with the character through this. And then my hope is that people like the movie, my performance in Sonic so much, that they'll go back and see the video games and go back and watch the cartoons and read the comic books. Yeah. So um, the, the biggest thrill for me is that I might be the way that a lot of kids are introduced to this character and then can see all the legends that have done it in the past. Yeah, and do you think you can see yourself returning to the character again? I the would future? do this character as long as they will. I, I'm so 
uh, happy with how it came out, the way he looks. The movie, I think, is really funny and cool. And Jim Carrey, man, if Jim Carrey wants to make another movie and enough people go to see this film that we're allowed to, I would be thrilled to do another one. Yeah, definitely. Um, and say if you could play any other video game character in the world. Oh, who, I can't believe I haven't been asked this yet. Pick? Well, listen, I play a lot of blue guys. Yeah. <laughs> like Dewey's blue, Leonardo's blue. Uh, Sonic is blue. I'm trying to think of the next blue person. There's so many characters that I would want to see. I don't know if I'm the right voice for them, but like, I know there's a Castlevania television show on Netflix. Um, Mega Man is blue. Another there kid. Go, that's, yeah. um, I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot of characters I would love to see. I really like video games. Yeah. I've been influenced by them. Uh, I mean, I played Final Fantasy. So many. I, the Final Fantasy VII, I beat, but it, I beat it like to completion in like 78 hours. That's days in front of a video <laughs> game thing. And those stories, those Final Fantasy stories, were incredible. But it'd be, I'd be hard pressed to not go to the movie theater for a Zelda film or a Final Fantasy okay. film. Yeah. Did, did you find yourself while you were kind of in the voice booth for this, going back and then playing the game? Did it kind of? I did. Re I, I, so your I, I, I bought Sonic Mania, played that, but also went and got a Sega Genesis Mini and beat one and two again uh, because I was like, oh, I got it. Do this, and I posted it on my Twitter. I beat video games on my Twitter, and there's like a thread of like a bunch of games that I beat, and I take pictures of it because yeah. uh, I still love doing that. Let's go! This is my power, and I'm using it to protect my friends. Let's 